Let's open our Bibles and show me your Bibles. Can you show me your Bible? Just lift your Bible. If you don't have a Bible, go and sit at the back. If, if you don't have the Bible, go and sit at the back. Why, why are you here? Show, show me your Bible. Let me see your, check your Bible. You see. Hold your Bible and your notebook. If you don't have a Bible, go and sit at, go, go outside there. I mean, let me see your Bible here. Where's your Bible? Where is the notebook? You can't do this. Because, look here, when the word of God is being preached, you have your own revelation. When you're in the church, when you're, you're a husband and a wife, eh? you're not a husband and a wife in the church. And the revelations you get in, out of the word of God, you can discuss them after church together. Let me see your, your Bible. Just lift it up. Lift your Bible. You don't have a Bible? Where are you? Where are you in the church today? This is the thing that, let me see your Bible. Please don't show me your phone. I want to see the Bible. Do you know, you put, do you know that your phone is more expensive than the Bible? And when you are watching, looking at your phone, it's possible that the message can enter. Let me see your Bible here. Your Bible. This is your Bible. Bible how, how old is this Bible? Where's your Bible, Mama? Are you coming here for the first time? Yeah. Where's your Bible? Bible yale naikai. Brother, where is your Bible? Look at the Bible. It's, 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 give me your Bible. You can't, you can't even give me. All right. In the morning, where, where were you reading in your Bible? Just ask your neighbor. Ask your neighbor in your Bible. Where were you reading in the morning? Just tell your neighbor to, to answer you. Say, show me the scripture you were reading in the morning. You will see that, you know, we are, we are wasting time to read the Bible now. Don't look, at me. look at your neighbors. Show me a scripture. Show me a scripture. Open the Bible. Show your scripture. Sister, show your scripture there to your friend. Uh, it's really tough. I'm telling you. Uh, where were you reading, my brother, in the morning? Psalm 91. Psalm huh? 91. <laughs> Psalm 91. I know you'll tell me the scripture you know 25 years ago. Yeah, Where, were you reading? Where were you reading? Act 4. You see, chapter 4. I know you because you know some, sometimes we say that. Now we tell later you say Jeremiah 5. Because Jeremiah, what, what is all about Act 4? Jitero chapter 4, your nairi. Uh, it's all about uh, Apostle Paul and Bernadette. Um, when they were preaching the word. See, Apostle Paul. Um, Apostle Apostle Paul. Paul. Next for Apostle Paul. Jitero chapter 4. Okay, here. Apostle Paul, we began to hear about him in, when he's not X4. Apostle Paul, X4. In the morning. Can you see you people who are not reading the Bible? X4. Apostle Paul preaching the gospel. 
Acts 4. And, and Barnabas. Acts 4. Yeah? 1 4. Now it's 14 now. <laughs> But this thing is very serious, isn't it? Yeah, let, me ask, let me ask the last person. Where, where were you reading? I didn't read it today. Stella, listen to this one. Where were you reading? I didn't read it today. Can you clap for this one? All right. Listen. Where were you reading? I didn't read it today. Clap hands for this one. You know this one is... It's, you see, one of the problem is this is the problem we have today. Number one, we lie. You know, you didn't read the Bible, but you said, I read X four. Jeremiah five. Jeremiah five. Very soon, six. You know, you didn't even read the Bible today. This one is speaking the truth. That if you people can have the truth. I didn't read. Now, I make sure that I read. Pastor will ask me. Before every Wednesday, I will do like this. Before I preach the word of God, I will go around asking people, where did you read? So the question is, through from the morning until now, if she didn't read, what is it that she was doing? As a Christian, this is a serious problem. How many of you are going to take the Bible to be your friend? Are you going to do that? If you are going to do that, have a notebook. You write today's date. And you, when you are reading, when you find something, you write it down. When you pray, you pray concerning what you have read. God bless you in Jesus. Let me do you have the Bible? Lift your Bible. I want to show you a Bible of 1.4. Okay, let's go to Acts 4. Acts 4. Acts 4. Acts 4. Acts 4. Acts 4. Can you stand up above? This is it, the Bible. Bible <laughs> what, what is your Bible? Ah, Pastor, you came here. Where is your Bible? Bible you are Papa. together. So it's a sign that you people, you don't read the Bible. It's a casa of Bible. All right, let me find. Let me see your Bible, Mama. Tell me the scripture you've read in the morning. Funda. Oh, Funda. Oh, Funda is if you know Funda, laban to laba o lande laba zenzani. If you as a pastor didn't read out about the followers, oh, Funda, can you see laban to laba o lande lara? Those people that are following you, what is it that they will read? Let me ask, where is the Bible? Mm -hmm. me, can you stand up, Mama? Come. Oh, I want to show you this. Look at this Bible. Look at this Bible that Mama is having. This is to be serious with your Christian life. Your Bible must represent you. How can you have an old Bible when you are saving? I mean, you don't even buy the new one. Your Bible doesn't even have the cover. Look at this. How much you bought this, Mama? 600. 690. How much is your phone? Phone, yeah, okay, okay. Huh? Okay, yeah. Some are 6,000. Sorry. Some are 12,000, some are more than 12,000. My God. The list, I think it's 1,500, which has got more features, maybe. This shows that we are going to hell. 
Already God has judged us today. This is 600. Look at this Bible. Automatically you will love it. You will love to open it. Huh? Amen. But look at this one. Let me show you. Let me get another Bible. Let me, let me have this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this Bible. This Bible here is Genesis. This is a revelation of my brother. Look at this Bible. If you take this Bible, you put it here. And you put a bottle of beer here. You, you will love beer than this. Let me show you another one. Look at this Bible. <clears throat> if you are angry, <laughs> and somebody make you angry, If you are, you are, somebody just make you angry holding this. Automatically, even the way you hold your Bible, you do like this. And somebody say, where are you going? You say, what? Where <laughs> If a bird, a bird just fly and stand in front of you. And you know you don't have relish. Yeah. People, you enjoy yourself. So, can we stand up? We sing this song together one minute. My Babylon, I. My Babylon, I. Oh, yeah. What a wonderful treasure. The gift of God without measure. We will travel together. My Bible and I. You know the song? When I start to be saved, uh, I loved my own Bible always. Let's sing this song. My, hold your Bible. All right. Let me stick with my children. Where's your Bible? Okay, hold it together. Yep. <laughs> hold your Bible together. <laughs> is, this, is this one? This one. You're, you're together in this one? Oh, she have got her own. Okay, lift up your hands. Say, my Bible and I. My Bible and I. My Bible and I. My Bible and I. Oh, yeah. The gift of God without measure, we will travel together, my Bible and I. When you matured now, How when, would you sometimes when you are driving, driving, you, you heard the revelation of the word. You park outside. You go there and check. You, you travel with you. And you begin to say, thank you, Lord, for this word. You know, the Bible says, my people are perishing because they are doing what? They are not reading. Think about the time when you are still going to school, you cram the big book better than the Bible. In your car, there must be a Bible. You I mean, everywhere you go, your Bible. Your word, if the word of God becomes part of you, you invite Holy Spirit to lead you. God bless you.